Hey, what's up, people? So, uh, I was watching these old restored videos um, in the past couple days from, like, early 1900s, even the late 1800s. And um, they, you know, they were restored to 60 frames per second, full color, and some of them even had sound. I don't think they had original sound, but still, if it was added sound, it was still a good job with the editing. Either way, uh, the editing that this person did, shout out whoever did it, because absolutely amazing. The editing brought about some kind of, um, I don't know, a different view on old footage. A different way to look at these people in the past, man. Because usually when we see old footage, you know, it's black and white. It's like, what, 10, 15 frames per second? I don't know. It just looks old, right? It just looks like, oh, that's old video, right? <laughs> it's like, that's what I, that's what you think the old times looked like. It was just black and white and it's just horrible frame rate, right? That's what I think the past was before. It was just, <laughs> that's what the past was actually like. But when you actually see the footage like this, uh, you know, in a form that is somewhat reminiscent of video that we have now, it, I don't know, man. It brings like this very strange aspect to what video is. Because what video is, let's be honest, it's the closest thing we have to time travel right now, right? It's capturing a moment in time, literally, and making it uh, viewable, reproducing it for anybody in the future to be able to witness. Sounds like time travel to me, right? That's the closest thing we got. <laughs> I mean, you can't physically go back to that time, but, you know, you are becoming aware of that time you're able to witness that time which is if you were to bring a, a video back to somebody in the medieval ages uh you know back to like 1536 in england right you brought this to somebody some peasant they would think it was sorcery some kind of magic and it is it's magic man we take it for granted because we all have video cameras in our pocket nowadays but we have magic in our pockets we are able to capture moments in time like this one this is very meta <laughs> we're able to capture moments in time and put them into cyberspace where they maybe they live forever who knows who knows where the internet's going to go i don't nobody really knows all i do know is we're here now and we're able to uh, take those moments in time that were that were um, captured and now they're solidified forever. It's a very very trippy concept to, um, to to really think about when you really think about what a video is. It's it's crazy, man. Like I said, it's time travel. <sighs> but yeah, I was watching those videos and just something hit me as I was seeing all these people. I'll play maybe. Some of them on here as I'm talking. Some of these people just go through their day-to-day -day life just like we do. Just going to and fro. Just walking on the street. They got their problems. They got things they're, they're concerned with. They got people they love. They got all the uh, the human aspects that we have, right? They're humans, just like us. And it's weird when you see it in such good quality. It's like, damn, man. Like, that's us. That's just us. They're no different from we are. I don't know. There was like this weird disconnect in my head before where I was like, they're not the same people in a way like they're just different they're, they're from a different age no man they're all humans we're all humans and looking at footage from 1900 per se i look at all those people i'm like 
Damn. All those people are dead. Even the kids. Unless there's some really old people walking around. Uh... 99.9% .9 chance all of those people that I'm watching right now live their life, be a human, just like all of us. They're all gone. And they're not coming back. Well, maybe they did. Maybe they reincarnated. Who knows? But in that body, in that bo that bodily vessel that I'm witnessing, that's not coming back, bro. That's it. That day in their life that I'm witnessing... That was it, man. It was a beautiful moment in time that I'm able to witness through cyberspace, man, through space and time. It's crazy, man. Seeing stuff like that, like, it reminds me of the temporary nature of, um, of this reality, bro. All of it, man. Like, those people had no clue that as they were just living their life, just a regular day in their life, that some dude, 120 years later, is gonna be watching them on this thing called the internet. Like what, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to, the, to those people. It probably wouldn't make sense at all. It's magic, like I said. It's magic, bro. We take it for granted. All of this, all of this technology is magic. And it gets more and more magical every day. Every day that goes by, we get deeper and deeper into the matrix. You realize that, right? It's craziness, man. And it hit me, you know? I was like, damn. Like, it's not forever, bro. It's not forever. We're here for a short while. It may seem like a long time. But it's not. 1900 to them, that was that was the year. 1900, bro. You know how we say it's like, oh, it's 2020, 2021. Anything's possible. They were probably like 1900, bro. Anything's possible. <laughs> It's the 20th century, bro. Anything's possible. And now, nothing's possible for them because they're not here. And I was also watching this guy. Uh, I forget the guy's name off the top of my head, which is kind of horrible. Uh, Lao Tzu. He was, uh, he's this guy online that uh, you guys probably know him. I'm a little late to the party on this one. He made videos where he just he spoke probably i don't know 20 30 languages taught himself and he'd walk up to people of native of this language and um talk to them in their language and they'd be like what the what <laughs> you know in very very obscure languages like swahili or uh you know uh one, one, one video he was speaking to this in tibetan which i didn't even know tibetan was a language to be honest with you <laughs> but my point is, is that, um, you know, awesome videos, right? And I was like, oh, this guy's amazing. This is cool. This is like, this is dope. Nobody else is doing this. I scroll down in the comments, RIP Moses. The guy's name was Moses. RIP. I'm like, oh shit. This guy's dead. He ain't coming back. And for real, RIP to that guy, RIP Moses. Although you live forever, man, in the internet, in cyberspace. His legacy lives on forever. And it had me thinking. Like, damn. You know, what's gonna what's my legacy here? What am I leaving the world? And not even just like what what do I want to show the world? What do I want people to think of me as in an ego sense? It's like, no, nah, like how am I serving the world while I'm here for this short amount of time? We're all here for a short amount of time, right? To serve serve each other like what are we how are we doing that you know it had me thinking like really like introspective like i didn't even this is all thanks to the youtube algorithm so thank you the almighty youtube out youtube algorithm for showing me these videos it was more than just entertainment like this showed me like a different aspect of like how i can view myself like 
damn, man. I got a short amount of time. I'm not here forever. Like, how am I gonna make this world hopefully a better place while I'm here? You know? Make somebody's day a little bit brighter while I'm here. Like, what am I gonna leave the world? Even if it's not a video. Even if it's just listening to somebody tomorrow at the coffee shop or something, you know? Or, you know... Just being there for somebody, giving somebody a hug, telling somebody you love them. Like, that's legacy too, you know? Like, how how am I going to conduct myself in that way? Like, how am I going to serve in this body for others while I'm here? It doesn't have to be. I'm not talking about these videos. It's not about that, man. You know, am I going to leave a, an actual legacy? Is there going to be children? Like, that's shit we all got to think about. Like, what... What are we going to do while we're here in this very short amount of time? Very limited amount of time. Like this world. This world, not even this world. I mean, maybe this world makes us forget that. Like, yo, cliche. I know it's cliche, but today could be your last day. Tomorrow could be your last day. I was looking at uh, this guy, Lao Shu. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. His name is Moses. R.I.P. Moses. I was looking at this guy's uh, videos. His most recent one was posted, I think, May 3rd, right? Something like that. And he died May 4th. I was like, damn, man. He had no clue. And then his most recent Instagram post, May 3rd. He died May 4th. He had no clue. It was just like a regular day for him. Just gonna post a video just like he usually does not thinking most likely that the next day none of that shit was gonna matter bro i mean it does matter to all of us but to him he ain't coming back bro he's gone forever he's done like in that in that body that's it that next day that was it he probably had no clue he died from some kind of like Heart complications, I think it was a heart attack, maybe. I don't something with cardiac. I don't know. Something like that. Either way, so sudden. Like that cliche of like live your day, live every day like it's your last. It's cliche. It's oversaid. I know it is, but we all know it's the truth, bro. And people like Moses, people like these uh these unknown, unnamed people in these videos from the nineteen hundreds. They just serve as reminders for all of us of this temporary nature. And maybe I'm serving that to you, to whoever's watching this in the future. Maybe I'm not in this body anymore. Maybe this body is uh, somewhere in the ground, somewhere in space, where wherever. I don't care whatever you guys want to do with my body when I'm gone. Maybe I'm not here anymore on this plane. So while I'm here in this body, in this suit, as this actor of Gary, one message I want to get across to everybody is this, man. Like, this is it, bro. This is it. There's not any, like, maybe tomorrow I'll do it. Maybe next week I'll get to it. Oh, I'm just going to watch one more video. Oh, I'm just gonna, you know, one more TikTok dance. <laughs> you know, just let me scroll a little bit more on my Facebook feed. Five more minutes, ten more minutes, then I'll do it. Because we all know what we're supposed to do. We all know what we're supposed to do here. You might not consciously know it, but it's somewhere in here. And what we're all supposed to do here. We're all servants. We all know how we're supposed to serve. So my one message to you is this, man. While we're here, figure out how we serve. How you serve yourself, how you serve others. Because that's what we're here to do. We're here to serve, create a legacy, not necessarily a legacy with 
with videos, pictures, art. Could be just the legacy of the stories people tell about you. Like, oh, that that Gary guy, oh, he was a great dude. Or that, you know, you, oh, he was a cool guy. He was always the, the life of the party, you know? Always had a smile on his face. And don't do it just for the stories, man. Don't do it just for, like, people to talk about you, you know, for a sense of vanity. Do it for a sense of knowing that while you're here in this temporary vehicle, you did the best you could to make this world a better place. Even if it's just one person. Even if it's just one person. You made the world a better place. I don't know, man. That's just how I see it. That's how I like to live my life. That's that's how I think we conduct ourselves as human beings. I try to wake up every day. Try to be grateful. That I'm here experiencing this crazy reality. And all its intricacies and... The crazy story that we've built up. And while I'm here experiencing this... This process. Um, try to make it a little bit better of a process for everybody here. Try it, at least. I don't know. Know that my intentions are pure and treat everybody with love, respect. Try to make people laugh a little bit. Take this a little less seriously. I don't know. Just try to be a good person, you know? That's really what it comes down to. Because you're not here forever. We're all not here forever, man. So let's try to make it a little bit better of a place for the people that are going to live on. The people that are here currently. The people that are in this in this fleeting world try to make it a little bit easier of a ride that's how i live my life you don't have to live it that way i'm just talking i'm just talking to a camera uh man but yeah check out um i'll link those videos and that i'll link the Lao Zoo guy moses i'll link his thing in this video I'll, uh, I'll link that other channel with the colorized old footage. It's trippy, man. It's really trippy. Because it just doesn't... It looks... It looks too real. <laughs> Which is funny, because it is real. But usually when you look at old footage, like I said, it's like, oh, it's just, just old footage. But when you see it transformed, when you see it restored, I don't know. If you look at it in the right perspective, it, it brings it, it brings a different essence to it. Different kind of shines a different light on the power of video and what video is and what video was back in the day, 120 years ago. It's crazy, man. It's time travel. <sighs> that being said, um, yeah. Hope everybody takes this time while you're here to create the life that you really want to create, man. Be the person you want to be. And be a good person. That's all I can say. Um, that's it. I'm going to peace out. Hope you all enjoyed. Even if you didn't, that's okay too. And if you didn't enjoy it, I don't know why you watched it this, this far. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Peace.